Don't ask me how it works, but apparently it does work. What's up, guys? Welcome to another one from Holy Shift. I'm Sandy. I'm going to do an install today. It's going to be uh, the Harley Davidson fork wind deflectors. It's a very cold day out here in New Jersey. I'm going to do it uh, indoors in my garage. My garage is not heated. So what I'm doing in advance is trying to get this, uh, this place uh, heated up. I put a little radiator. Uh, we're going to start in about an hour. John from Cycle Fanatics is going to come over. We're going to do it inside my closed small garage over here. Going to install uh, this uh, wind deflector, uh, fork wind deflectors on my 2020 electric glide standard. I've heard that it does an amazing, uh, amazing thing. Like it eliminates pretty much completely all uh, buffeting on the helmet. Must say that after I installed this Freedom Shield seven inch windscreen the other day, I reduced the buffeting to like to the minimal. It's like, it's so smooth now. So I already have these uh, fork uh, wind uh, deflectors that I bought quite a while ago. I haven't, uh, I haven't installed them yet. Do the install, show you detailed install. And then when the weather picks up a little bit, uh, you know, warmer in uh, a few hours, uh, I'll take it out for a ride and tell you how good it is. Every time I see you with that, with that camera in your hand. <laughs> it's glued. <laughs> it's glued. What's up there, Mr. Holy Chef? You ready? You ready for- uh, Where's my coffee? Oh, I didn't, uh... <laughs> <laughs> let me get the coffee. I use, I do instant coffee. I don't do American drip coffee. Do bathtub water? I do, no, no, do, do, <laughs> bathtub water, mud. No, taster's choice, that's what I do. Uh, oh, with, yeah, he's instant. Got the, he's got the expensive stuff. Oh, oh. I okay, we're ready to go. The garage hopefully is warm by now. This little noise making machine is gonna drive me crazy, right, Pico? No, you're staying inside. So we're going outside into the garage. You wait here, wait for us. We'll go and uh, we'll put those wind deflectors on. Mr. Cycle Fanatics is, uh, oh, it started to snow. I remember I was telling you it's cold. Well, it's really cold. It's uh, snow flurries now. We're expecting three to four inches of snow. Wonder if it's gonna stick. Right now it's, it's cooling down my coffee. Wind deflectors by Harley Davidson Chrome should be really nice. All right. Okay, I can't say it's too no, it's nice. Too it's cold. cold. Okay, yeah. Warm. Did you you just put the uh, Freedom Shield? Did you post that video yet? I did. Yep. That's yep. a really nice shield. It is. Got this little uh, uh, light going actually going on. Here. Looks great too. Yep. It's wider, right? It is. It's they call it a touring uh, touring design, which inside you know the cockpit. Yeah. yeah there is. Oh my there goodness goes the gracious! The old windscreen. <laughs> I guess we're never going back to this. This is uh, the item that they're going to be installing for mounted uh, wind deflectors, chrome, Harley Davidson, costs, whatever it costs. I, so let's, I'm going to move the bike around a little bit so it's easier to work on the front part, uh, front end of it, okay? Let's do that now. Uh, one bolt or one nut comes out here. The second one comes out over here. Then we need to disconnect the plug that goes to the signal light and then run run the plate the fork uh deflector underneath this plate and it's going to go alongside here and okay look at the did you see how he went just through my my footage <laughs> <laughs> just walked across his camera so this is this is the actual uh, blade, let's call it. It looks like a, <laughs> look like a samurai sword uh, with the right uh, sticker on it. It's gonna go, it's nicely chrome. Well, it's a Harley, it's a Harley item. This is the thing. Aerodynamically, don't ask me how it works, but apparently it does work. Uh, it's gonna be installed over here like that under, uh, <clears throat> under this part over here. So uh, let's open up these bolts right now and slap it on. It's a half, a half inch over this here. This guy flies jumbo jets for a living. <laughs> when I'm working, dude. <laughs> okay, two bolts pretty much over here. One and two, half inch. 
Uh, no need for a socket, no need, because the, there's a bit of obstruction over here. So any uh, closed wrench would do it, half inch. Okay, next step is uh, taking this guy, this guy out. As you can see, it just uh, comes off and I have to find over here uh, the little clip. There it is. So unclip this. Is there anything? No, it's just uh, pushing these two tabs and taking it out. Why do we need to take this out? Because that fits in to this hole right here. So I just noticed that uh, there's this uh, additional bolt that actually holds all the, all the action over here. So that one needs to come out, that one, and that one, once they're out. And this one is not a half inch. Let's find what it, which wrench it is. Okay, we found it, it's, John found it, it's a 916. Uh, this one, and the top one also. See, this is how I'm used uh, for the production to go. He holds the wrench and I hold the camera. Okay, there it is. It's not, it's not those two clips on the top. It's actually uh, the clip uh, down on this side that needs to come out. Now that we got this... Uh, this plug out, I'm gonna run this cable through, through that hole right there. Which will not fit. Which will not fit. <laughs> but you have to force it in, dude. You have to force it in, cause it's not a clean fit. Yeah. So I uh, squeezed that, uh, those two pieces of plastic, uh, trimmed them down just slightly. They're holding nothing, so it's not a big issue. And now it's through. And now the first uh, the bolt, first bolt goes in. So top and bottom. Now these are the bolts that actually the studs and the, the nuts together, bolts holding all the, all the load actually on these uh, uh, fork wind deflectors. Okay, tighten them according to spec. Spec is a uh, 14.6. Uh, good and good and tight. Good and tight, <laughs> good and tight. And that's what they look like before, uh, like inside the garage before I take them out. That's and nice. It looks, it looks nice, it does, wow. I'm uh, curious to know how well they work. You know what, according to what people, people are saying, uh, a few people that have them, uh, they say work re they work really well. Mm -hmm. You don't get to see these too many too many of them uh, on bikes. So it kind of just like, but it is pushes pretty. it towards the engine, right? In this kind I don't of know. Bottom. I don't know. Maybe, well, maybe deflects it up or deflects it uh, <clears throat> onto the fairing. I'm not right quite there. sure aerodynamically how it works, but it, it looks nice. Installation was pretty easy over here. So now let, let's dress it up. Put uh, connect uh, the uh, the tab that little connector of the uh, signal light over here. There you go, the, the nuts are right here. The wind deflectors are connected. These two uh, dressing bolts, I'd say they're they're there for cosmetic purposes or to actually to hold the, the this whole signal light plate. And this whole samurai sword is underneath this plate. And okay, guys, for a second there was a, a little uh, you know moment of uh, trying to figure out the aerodynamics over here. It didn't make sense why uh, they designed it in such a way, but. Uh, we were contemplating where the, maybe by mistake we put it on the wrong way, but after looking at it, we realized that we did put it on the right way. If you notice the way it is right now, uh, right here, 
uh, which doesn't look uh, aerodynamically, doesn't look like it's the right way. Actually, it's the only way that when you use and turn uh, the steering or the wheel all the way to the side, it's not going to be hitting the, uh, the, crash, the crash bars. If we had it on uh, this way, which aerodynamically looks, looks correct, the minute you move the steering, steering wheel, the steering uh, there, it hits, it hits the crash bars right here. But you got to make sure that the curve, the curve of this thing goes forward. That was very easy. Now let's let's go to the other side. Let's do the left side. Barber, see? He does. He did. He said it does. You see, it's this uh, little tab over here that you need to click, press in, and it just pops right out. This one is a 916. Did it go through? Yep. The bottom. Okay. Okay. They're good. Click into place. And there you have it. Let's take the bike out. Oh, it's snowing already. Oh, let's open up the garage door. Let's open up the garage door and see if we can get a little bit light to see how nice it is. If not, then I'll wait to tomorrow where uh, it's gonna clear up. That's the amount of snow that we're getting right now while we're working in the garage. This is the snow outside. I don't think it's a good idea to go out riding and test riding. Uh, This is 24 hours later, as you see, roads are still covered with snow, a lot of sleet, a lot of uh, black ice, a lot of slippery conditions. I'm not gonna take it out uh, for a ride. That will be in the next video, but I do wanna show you a walk around and in a few days I'm gonna come out with a new video, uh, the actual ride, test it when the conditions are a little bit better and I'll let you know what I think. For now, let's uh, do the walk around. Thank you, John, for helping me out, dude. It was not fun. a problem. Not a problem. <laughs> I'll send you. I'll send you to Bill later. Yeah, he, he always does. By the way, <laughs> we'll Any send you to Bill or help you out. <laughs> so that's it, guys. This part is after I showed you the bike. Uh, actually, no. This part I'm videotaping before I take the bike out. But you're going to be watching it. But you're going to be watching it after I put uh, the walk around that I took three hours after the snow stopped. Okay. Anyway. That's it for now. Uh, Harley Davidson, fork mounted, wind deflectors. That's right. I'll take it out uh, for a ride. You probably already saw the ride. And uh, 
that's it for now hope you enjoyed this video guys till the next video from holy shift i am sandy peace out Thank you.